Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dripping effects just like what you see on the screen. And we are starting right now. The first thing we need to do is to go ahead and choose the size of our Canva. And for that, I will just hit on Ctrl N. And in this case, I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 pixels. And once you select that, you can select any size of your choice. I will just go ahead and hit on OK. Now, the very first thing we need to create is our background. In this case, you can just come back to this place and hit on the button and come over to where it says gradient and once you hit on your gradient you're going to have this window right here where you can basically fill out your parameters firstly we need to go ahead and choose our color and by that i will hit on that button and come over to the first button or as well you can come over to the basis and once you are on the basis you're going to come back to where it says black and white and once you choose that you can potentially change to the color that you need and for that we are going to be using this dark yellow to like something orange color right here and I want to go ahead and hit OK. And the other color, you can basically leave it to be white. And once you have it like this, you can go ahead and hit OK. The next thing we need to do is to come back to the style and want to make our gradient to be radial so that it will be center. Once you've done that, you want to hit on the reverse. And with the reverse, we want to scale it up so that we we'll remove these sharp edges. And once you drag it to this right side, you will see that it's crazy. And there's no rules in doing this. You can just follow your eye and follow your guidance. But in this case, we're going to leave it like this. And once you've done that, you want to hit on okay now the next thing i need to do is to drag in the main image which happen to be the main subject of our design and this is going to be the image that we are going to be using today i will just go ahead and enter and resize my screen to control zero so that i'll be seeing everything vividly here if you want to see your work in small size you can basically see it here with the navigator okay now firstly we need to select this image and for that i'll go back to the object selection tool and just draw a rectangle over my subject just like this and I wait a little bit for Photoshop to do their work once you select it you feel like everything is matched just come over to the layer mask and remove the background and now we have our image like this now the next thing we can do is to perfectly place our image on our Canva or in any way we're gonna need it there's no rules to this just follow your guidance follow your eye for me the image is okay like this the next thing I need to do right now is to drag this drippy image that we are going to be using and hit on enter for my keyboard i will just make this image to be at the top of the lady and go ahead again and rename it the first thing we need to do is to subtract these particles these drips from this white background and for me to do that i want to come back to the magic one tool and once we're here i want to click once on the black space it's going to select this part right here and you can see there are still some parts that need to be selected and i want to right click again and come back to where it says similar and now it has selected everything the next thing i want to do is to hit on the layer mask so that the image will be subtracted from the white background now we're going to have it like this and the very first thing i need to do to this image is to make it a smart object before you make it a smart object be sure that the image is selected very well okay but in this case i will make it a smart object and once i make it smart or just like this i still need to go ahead again and rasterize this layer once the layer is been rasterized i want to go ahead and decrease the opacity so that i will be seeing the line the image that i'm working on now i want to resize it to perfectly fit on the lady just like this and drag this size to the lady to make it perfectly fit and the same thing will happen to this part right here i'll just drag it up and now our drippy image is at the center of our subject firstly i need to increase the opacity again to be 100 percent and i want to click on the thumbnail of this drip image and right click and then you want to come back to where it says select pieces now it has selected everything but we can just go ahead and be working like this in order for us to remove the parts that are not selected we need to come back to where it says select and then come back to where it says inverse in this case we can erase the parts that are not drip i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so that we can erase this part right here and we will be left only with the drippy lines and now what we need to do is to come over to the subject in question okay and in this case you want to hit on the mask select your brush tool by hitting on b for your keyboard and you can just go back to the soft round brush that will do the work perfectly and what i need to do again is firstly decrease the size a little bit and make sure that your foreground color is black and hit on okay now i want to erase these parts that are not needed and better still for you to be seeing your work vividly this 
drippy image right here i'll just go ahead and hide it so that it remain only the lines in this way i'll be seeing what i'm cancelling again i will decrease the size of my brush just like this by holding down the alternative and right click and drag to the left side repeat the process something like this now i can remove these parts that are not needed just like this just like this erase all these parts when doing this make sure the flow and the opacity of your brush is at 100 percent that's the only way you will get the image being removed perfectly just like what you see like this and once i have everything like this i can go over and hit on ctrl d to deselect everything and now this is going to be a drippy effect you can see the way it turned out to be and i can just hit on ctrl plus one to zoom out to my work to see how it looks this is the result that we want to achieve and this is the end of this video i hope you find it helpful and interesting and in case today is your first time you can subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload another video just like this you will definitely be the first person to be notified and having said this i'm going to call it a day cheers peace out